All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honey, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully, they got there pushing his word and truth. And it's a series across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole flag, the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And what I want to get into this morning, all right, is we in the time now, you know, where the Lord, you know, is laying everything open, you know, and is dealing with these other camps, all right, and they constantly show you, you know, through their pattern and their behavior what they're about, you know, and Israel will have no cloak. All right, you Israelites that follow these men, okay, because they're world friendly, you know, they don't require much change, you know, there's pretty much no standard, all right, and what we see on our people is a stronghold with nigger culture, you know, nigger culture is, 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 is a major stronghold amongst the men and women, all right, of our people, you know, and when you find out you're an Israelite, one of the snares, you know, that's out there is that, you know, you have camps where you can understand you're an Israelite and still be a nigga. Okay? And what we have, the latest thing, YSUPK, it just further proves, okay, that the that, that nigga culture still dominates who they are. Okay? And, and the Lord, all right, is just laying everything open. And if you get caught up, you know, following these men, Okay, we're in the most serious times ever when prophecy is just going crazy. All right. And niggas still have their playful spirit. Jake still have, you know, their playful nigga spirit, man. All right. That low frequency of nigga culture, man, which is the lowest form of existing to ever exist, man. Okay, it's to exist as a nigga. All right. Now we're gonna play this. Um this is a video done by the elder brother with not the Zakpa. And um we're just gonna show you, man, that it's just a continuation of the same pattern, man. You know, cause at this point, it's not surprising. This is just that this is who they are. <laughs> okay? As they say in the world, when people show you who they are, believe it. Okay? Cause hey, people say and do everything, man. The scriptures say you shall know them by the fruit, okay, of their doings. Okay, what 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 your actions? You see, when dealing with anyone, man or woman, you you move based off their actions, man. People always show you who they are, even if they try to hide it. Okay, and conceal, you know how they really, you know, think and feel. Eventually, actions gonna show. Okay, <laughs> you just gotta pay attention, man. Keep receipts. So I'm gonna let this play. You know, um, gonna get a few precepts, man. <laughs> you know. Check out the commander, General Yohana. 55th Passover at the ISUPK. We need to be there. To be there. If you're Israelite, definitely be there. If you're not Israelite, you want to come see what they're about, pull up on their Passover. It's the 55th. 5 5 to 55th. Come check them out this year, and it's going down Durham, North Carolina. Be there, be square. Come holler at me. Just like see. But this brother has a 24 by 7 clubhouse right now. You can say he's the only one that survived the update on Clubhouse. So, and he rocks. He gives people opportunity where they wouldn't have an opportunity. Like I appreciate you, brother. Like, and, and that's coming from somebody that he's clashed with. And that's another like lesson to be known is that you can have a clash with a brother or a sister, and it's not the end of the world. It don't mean that you can't come back and be brothers again. You know what I'm saying? So, whack is a fucking cheat code, and you can put that up. WAC 100 endorses ISUPK's Passover. WAC 100 endorses ISUPK Passover. And some of you may be saying, who the hell is WAC 100? Exactly. That's the whole problem. All praise to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, and this video is going to be entitled WAC 100 endorses ISUPK's Passover. 
You know, when I think 2 Corinthians 6, 14 comes to mind. And it's just a quick video just to uh, show the folly of these different Israelite groups a little bit further. ISUPK, they're known. One of the things they're known for is having unbelievers. Because, you know, this guy, Wack 100, of course he's doing this by permission. He said, if you're an Israelite, you can come. And if you're not an Israelite, you can come see what they're about. And that's not even scriptural. And then, then you had, you know, Captain Tazariak. All right, Captain Tazariak, who was on Wack 100's podcast. <laughs> he endorses Wack 100. Wack 100 is, I don't know that much about the guy. I mean, he's of the world, of course. Worldly ass nigga who's an unbeliever. He bucked up against, you know, the truth. He's not repenting. All right, he's an unbeliever. And you just see over and over ISUPK doing this. And they only care about the money. Let's just be real. They only care about the money at the end of the day. And if you just go to it here at the end, you see what? Right here. $200 to go to a Passover. What can you, you can't find that in the scriptures. You can't find that in the scriptures. Let's look Let's look at it a little closer here. It says the Salakia. If we look at the ISUPK presents the Lord's Passover. ISUPK 55th annual in Durham, North Carolina, three times in a year, shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy power in the place which he shall choose in the Feast of Unleavened Bread and in the Feast of Weeks and in the Feast of Tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. So you got to pay $200 or you're going to appear before the Lord empty. <laughs> April 20, 2024, which is, is ridiculous. $200 Passover fee per adult, 18 plus. Children are free. Passover includes excessive, is, excuse me, exclusive all excess pass to all weekly ISUPK Passover events, such as the Passover celebration, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, General Mahayaman's Scripture Breakdown class, to all black party. Oh, sorry, the all-black party with free babysitting, lamb slaughter, the kids' party, free transportation to all ISUPK events, and much more. Pay your fee now. Wow. And anybody... And there you have it, man. All right, first dealing with WAC 100, you know, with Jesus, super nigga. All right, I think he believes he's from Cali. You know, he's a um, endorser of their gang life. Okay, which is a culture that has completely destroyed our people, man. All right, has completely destroyed our people. Okay, and has produced another generation, okay, of, of, of niggas, man. Hey, <laughs> you see? And then you have the $200, which you could pay $200 and you don't even have to believe, which at the end of the day, all right, the Passover, first and foremost, all right, we're keeping it in the order of Yahweh Shai. You know, his last Passover set the standard of the Passovers that we should keep until his second coming. You know, first of all, it was a small assembly. It was just him and his uh, 12, all right, disciples, okay? Um, uh, you know, it wasn't a fee, okay? It wasn't open to the public. And it was a very serious time because of Yahweh Shai was about to be sacrificed, man, and, and understanding what that sacrifice meant, you know, this Passover is a thing of praying that hey, we're passed over from the Lord's anger when he comes to judge the earth, man, all right, but but what have niggas done, they turned it to an uh, essence fest, man, okay, free babysitting, so you know, let's get to get the women out, okay, and women shouldn't even be there, okay, but you, you know what niggas is up to, man, <laughs> All right, let's, let's 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 cut the game. You know why they have free babysitters, man? Okay. And this is and, and, and this is all right. How niggas just drive everything to the ground? Like the a nigga bring the value of everything down, man. You know, and that's one. You know, it's a part. It's a part of it. You know, the scripture tell us the scriptures warn us about these men. You know, it's a part of it. You know, you just hate the fact when niggas find out about something, how they just run it to the ground, you know. But for the elect, you know, we're going to remain, you know, uh, a secluded. You're going to, Lord willing, the hopeful elect going to be isolated, man, and continue to grow 
in righteousness, man. You know, to keep to continue to grow in order and understanding, you know, and appreciation for Yahweh Shai. You know, what we're seeing amongst Israel is a lack of appreciation of Yahweh Shai. A lack of taking Yahweh Shai serious, man. You know? And these men constantly show you who they are. I'm gonna play one more video and then we'll get a few precepts, man. Okay. Let's play one more. Alright, now this was from I think it like a year or some change ago. But they, they tell you they tell you what they are, man. Jake is showing you and telling you what they are. And nigga culture has a stronghold on Jake, man. Even when they find out they're Israelites, man. You know, that nigga demon is never exercised off Jake, man. All right? And, it, and it's due to them not taking Yahweh Shah seriously, man. All right? Still moving with no fear. All right? So let's play this. Hey, you heard about the <laughs> man, I heard about them niggas. Them niggas police yeah. any goddamn way. That's crazy. Like, them niggas be snitching, man. They really do. Yeah, I got something for that, though. All right, all right. Hold on, nigga. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Some nigga shit. Five who four. See now as you BK man. We embrace niggas, man. Whoa, whoa. We love niggas. <laughs> nigga shit is all we know. All time. I would never arrest my niggas. Every rap in the world. I'll never hate my niggas. Set a whole trend for the next. I love my niggas. Look at these niggas, man. We all black cause we soldiers. These niggas is who God loves. You understand? What? Just keep that in mind. Next time you take the stand. Nigga, I did more hip hop than hip hop. I gotta get respect. He's forty a pioneer. So there you go, man. So it's just a continuation of the same behavior that these men, you know, constantly display. Okay. You Israelites will have no cloak. Okay, there's no way that you see these men's actions and you think that they take, okay, the ministry serious, man. All right. This is Sirach 13 and 15. It said, every beast loveth his neighbor and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh consorted according to kind and a man will cleave to his like. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly. So these men are showing you, all right, by who they associate with and what they associate with what they are <laughs> okay you just is these just as niggas and fringes man okay and if a nigga would nigga would uh uh bring the ghetto to the kingdom man okay that's a, a major stronghold on our people man is that culture man okay verse 18 it says what agreement is there between the hyena and the dog and the peace between the rich and the poor, okay, and and and, and that nigga culture, all right, the, 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 the spirit is poor, you know, we're becoming rich in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, okay, and niggas are poor because they have the spirit of this world, man, this beast, and you get this in the um GNT, Sirach 13 and 15, it says, every creature prefers its own kind, and people are no different. Just as animals of the same species flock together, so people keep company with people like themselves. 
<laughs> okay? And it, it don't get no plainer. All right? They, they, they're, they're constantly showing you over and over what they're about, man. It says a sinner has no more in common with a devout person than a wolf with a lamb. You know, and we're be, hey, we're we're uh becoming devout men in the spirit and the worship of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. We have nothing to do with these people when it comes to these affairs, man. Of course, we are amongst Jake, and there's a few Jake in the world that's cool. You can, you know, kick it with to a degree, you know. But then when it comes to serving Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man, that's for devout men only. Okay. This is not a, a, a $200 affair. Okay? <laughs> Verse 18. Rich people have no more in common with poor people than hyena have with dogs. And once again, this is showing you Jake's relationship with money. You know? Jake put money over integrity, over honor. All right? Jake put money over, over everything, man. Okay? This is the book of Acts chapter 8. I'm going to read this in the NLT. It says, <clears throat> Then Peter and John laid their hands upon these believers, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given, when the apostle laid their hands on people, he offered them money to buy this power. Let me have this power too, he exclaimed, so that when I lay my hands on people, they will receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter replied, May your money be destroyed with you for think, thinking the Most High's gift can be bought. You can have no part in this for your heart is not right with the Most High. Okay? The, the Jake mind is not right. The, the, the apostles didn't let this guy, you know, uh, uh, even attempt, you know, they said, look, your money pairs with you. This is bigger than money. This is bigger than notoriety. <laughs> what we're a part of, man. Okay? And the apostle was like, look, nigga, your money pairs with you, man. Yo, yo, you ain't right, nigga. You know? Verse 22, it says, repent of your wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive you for your evil thoughts. For I can see that you are full of bitter and jealousy and are held captive by sin. Okay? So a lot of our people, they're in captivity to sin. You know, that nigga culture, man, which is just uh, transgression upon transgression, man. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but, but, but niggas can't separate from it, man. They're, they're in captivity to it. <laughs> you see, so the Lord has everything laid open, man. At the end of the day, all right, no one can say that they didn't know. And everything that's been exposed, no one can say that they didn't know. You can't say that, that you didn't know the so-called white man was a devil. You can't say that you never heard Jews or Israelite. You can't say that you know didn't know certain Israelite groups was off. Okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna have no cloak because niggas love to play stupid. And still do what they want to do. But nah, man. Ain't no cloak, all right, for, for Israel and anything, man. You Jake's going to be held accountable, man. Okay, we're all going to be held accountable, man. Okay, so Lord will, you brothers and you sisters edify to the next time I say Shalom.